Uh oh. This one is from Nickster, Mr. Nicholas Slight, and he says, Anime fans need to stop. I do love me these off topic kind of quote unquote drama videos from Mr. Nick. So let's see what he had to say. I don't get you. Maybe not you, okay. but some of you, right? I, I don't I don't get you. It's either I love too many things too much and I love everything. Okay. Or I criticize one thing and I'm a hateful person and I hate everything. Today's Here's the thing, right? What Nicholas Light's saying here is pretty much something that every content creator is going to have to face. And I'm sure he knows it the best, right? He's way bigger. He's gone through this multiple times. But the same amount of people that's giving me a criticism for glazing a series and the same amount of people that's hating on him for hating on a show, they are two different groups. There's always going to be people on different ends of the spectrum getting mad because their favorite show was hated on or they think that this popular show that doesn't deserve recognition is getting glazed. It's just hateful people on both sides of the spectrum that's just going to speak out. That's But to us, it kind of seems like it's the same people always saying the same shit, right? This video, I reacted to the newest Demon Slayer episode. We just watched the episode, so we're prepared for this. I wasn't a big fan of it. And I wanted to be honest about that. I wanted to give y'all a good video. I would say that the most recent Demon Slayer episode, in terms of, I don't even know what you would, you know, um, attribute to quantify like a number metric to, you know, judge a score. But in terms of pure entertainment value, a six or a seven out of 10. And I think there's nothing wrong with it. It's a literal training arc where nothing really happens except kind of train, 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 watch these cannon fodder run up the fucking mountain. There's some funny moments here with Tanjiro and some of the Hashiras, but for the most part, it's just like, just a mid-episode. But there's nothing wrong with mid-episodes. Sometimes you need mid-episodes to exist so that you can, you know, carry on and actually build up the hype for the actual payoff later. Video, an entertaining video, but also be honest, because I feel like I'm super positive all of the time. Like, I don't dislike anything. But every now and then I dislike something and I feel like I'm criticized for that. When I do my anime openings reaction, sometimes I don't like it uh, an opening. Remonster. Best opening of this season. And then I'm criticized for not liking that opening. <laughs> but then I'm overly criticized about loving everything. And here's the thing, right? And Mr. Nicholas Light knows the best. You can never please everyone. And there's no point trying to please everyone. All you can do is be your honest, authentic self and the audience will cater around you. But the more that you try to cater around the same people, like the people that's saying, oh my God, you're hating this too much or oh my God, you're glazing this too much. You're gonna get fucking nowhere, right? So all you gotta do is just put your honest opinion out there and say, go fuck yourself if you don't like my opinion. I'm just putting it out there. You make your own fucking videos. It's crazy. It's a crazy world, especially in this anime fandom where I feel like you have to love everything. I don't think this is specific to anime. I think that like, like obviously it, it definitely does happen a lot in the anime fandom because of the nature of so many different series and what I call like tribalism, where groups of people stands will identify themselves with a specific brand or a series. And if you don't like our stuff, then you're the enemy. And if you like other stuff, then go fuck yourself. Right. That's the kind of behavior I see. And if you hate one thing or dislike or criticize one thing, you're retarded. So let me show y'all. I'm a low key fan of the R word coming back full on, bro. 2025. Oh boy, let's fucking go, bro. But the recent comeback of the R word. Mm -mm -mm. Example, right? Today's upload, Demon Slayer episode. I wasn't a big fan of it. Not because there's no boom, boom, pow, pow. I don't need boom, boom, pow, pow. I don't. You know, we don't need action, right? You don't need crazy actions to happen to, for a show to be good. But even like the dialogue around it, I think that the, the scene where Sanami and the, the heavy Hashira, you know, the snake Hashira was talking about the infinite castle and kind of hyping that shit up, that was pretty good. That actually got me really excited. But everything around it, the dialogue felt kind of unnecessary, filler. Didn't really feel like we're moving towards progress in the story. It just feels like we're just kind of vibing. There's nothing wrong with that, but I'm not going to say this is the best thing I've ever watched. It's just kind of boring, but it's just I'm just existing, just watching. We need constant fighting, constant action and effects and sparkles and explosions and fire and water yeah. and clone jitsu. I don't need all of that. You're watching a lot of Naruto One lately. of my favorite stories of all time, Vinland Saga Season 2. Is I got no enemies because it's not like season one. Season one is the action. Thorfinn's always killing and murdering. And the season two comes and it's all about peace. Finding peace within yourself. 
Yeah. Not a lot of action. There's action, but not a lot of it. And it's criticized for that. It's my favorite season of all time. That's a fucking base take. A lot of people, I think, hated Villain Saga Season 2 because they call it Farmland Saga. And it's so different from what they saw with Season 1. Season 1 was basically the prologue of the story, but it was also fucking peak, right? And Season 2, it's like, wait, what are we, what are we doing anymore? Where's my favorite characters? My, the main character is so different. What is this? Worm on a farm? I totally understand the criticism of why people like, you know, Vinland Saga Season 2 compared to Season 1, but Nicholas Light saying Farmland Saga is his favorite is... He truly does love the actual storytelling then, huh? Love it. Connect okay. with it so much. Thorfinn, probably my top three characters of all time. The moments in Attack on Titan, the episodes of Attack on Titan, when there's barely any action, and it's just characters in a room for... Meetings, but sometimes meetings are actually good if the dialogue is engaging and you know kind of contributes to the story and you can get excited about it. Just like how I mentioned today in Demon Slayer episode, the scene where Sanami is talking about the infinite castle that shit got me hyped up, but everything else around that was like this kind of recap. The three wives, honestly, they were doing a lot of fucking recap. Remember, saying, like, thank you, times you know, remember back in season two, and like, oh boy, they're just doing straight up recap. For example, the memories of the future episode with Eren and Grisha and Zeke, my bad, Zeke. Best episode of all time. There's barely action in that episode. It's all about talking, moments, memories. I don't need boom, boom, pow, pow. Okay. I have ADHD, but it doesn't apply okay. to how I enjoy my movies, TV shows, anime, music. I don't need... Nicholas Light basically putting down the groundwork so that the haters cannot criticize him saying, Oh my God, he's a dumb shonen tart. He can only enjoy something if there's boom, boom, pow, pow. But by saying that his Midden Saga Season 2 is his favorite... And the Attack on Titan reference. You can enjoy anime even if it's not boom boom pow pow. Need constant action. But then I get criticized for that in the comments. People don't want to watch one minute of my video where I explain that I don't need that to enjoy. Fuck them. Don't watch. Like, you want to criticize? Like, stop watching. Like, what are you fucking doing? Watching someone that you don't like getting fucking upset. That's such a loser behavior. Now, if you're an actual fucking fan and you'd like, you know... For the person to start making, I don't know, that's, that gets a little parasocial, like, oh my god, I like the old Nicholas Light better, but if you don't like it, just fucking leave. Joy, I just, I'm not a fan of the episode. I feel like it was, it could have been just five minutes long, and we could have continued somewhere else, you know? Totally agree. Totally agree. Today's episode felt like it was kind of just, like, stretched. What was actually the meat of the content, huh? I feel like the meat of the content was Tengen Uzui getting his motivation or maybe um, hinting at um, coming back out of retirement to fight in the next arcs. Um, the revelation that Han Tengu may be alive, but if it's not Han Tengu, then it's like another different, you know, partial upper four. And then that's pretty much it, right? Like, what was actually super important today? Not much other than that. Maybe Tomioka's resolve to come back, you know? You know what I mean? It just feels like a filler episode. Bro it is. cannot handle two episodes without battles. Imagine if you watch all the filler in Naruto. Jesus. This is not only a training arc, but also the only part of the entire story in four seasons where you actually get the characters interacting and getting some depth behind them. If you don't like it, then don't watch it. Oh, so I'm supposed to dick ride everything. I'm not supposed to criticize anything. If you don't like it, then don't watch it. Now, this is going to sound hypocritical because I just basically said, if you don't like to watch a content creator and you're just hating on them, just stop watching. That makes sense. But that is di it's different when you're like criticizing like an anime. Because like by saying like, oh my God, I don't like, you know, the slop I'm being fed. I, I know what Demon Slayer could be. Then if you voice your opinions like this and if you actually kind of act... I don't know. I, I feel like if you are fine with eating shit, then you will constantly be given shit. And the whole, if you don't like it, then don't watch it mindset is pretty counterproductive when we're talking about, you know, getting, trying to get better anime. I'm the biggest fan of Kendrick Lamar, my favorite artist of all time. Every single song, I am supposed to love and deep throat that shit. I'm not allowed to say that song's a little mid. I don't like that song. It's boring. I'm not allowed to say that because I'm a big fan of his. I should just stop listening to him because I don't like that single song. We can see people that didn't care about characters in this arc and just want action. It's not even that I don't care about the characters. I want to I mean, I like the characters. Sanami is sick. All the different new Hashiras are sick. I want to know more about Gyome. But the content that we've been provided so far has been so lackluster. And we don't really get that much engagement with the different Hashiras so far. And that's fine. We're only on episode 3 of this season. But I can totally understand why to today's episode. Like, let's get real. If this, is this 10 out of 10? I think that these people here, right? The YouTube comment section. They probably do agree that today's episode was like a 6 or a 7 out of 10 at best, right? Not the most exciting. It just kind of exists. It needs to be there. 
But like, okay, if we both agree, and I doubt that they're gonna say this is a fucking 10 out of 10 episode, then like, why are you fucking pointing this out? You see a content creator voicing their opinion saying, you know what, today's episode felt like it was just not it, man. I feel like they could have done a better job and it was mostly filler, and I agree. So what? It's like, then what? What are you, what are you fucking arguing against? Are you saying today's episode was that fucking good? I want to see the characters. I want to see Igudo or Obanai. I want to see, uh, 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 what's his name? Sanami. I want to yeah. see the praying Yome. guy. I want to yeah. see all these people. I still call him the praying guy because we haven't seen him yet. You know Yome. what I mean? I barely have seen him. I want to see these characters. I want to. I so desperately want to. Of course, I want to see this whole Infinity Castle. People refer it to, like, reference it as, like, the Shibuya arc of Demon Slayer. But I'd love to see these scenes where we get to develop Man, the Infinity Castle arc is getting pretty fucking hype. Hmm, man, I'm getting pretty excited for this. They're calling this like the Shiba incident, kind of like the comparison with Jesus the Kaisen. Oh, man. These are the Hashra, I would love that. New anime fans have severe ADHD, I swear. Like, they don't know the joys of a buildup and the absolute blast. Now, I think that this comment is interesting because... Obviously, there's episodes where there is buildup. Not every episode can be a fucking banger. Sometimes you do need setup episodes to kind of lay the foundation down so that the payoff can be an actual payoff. If you don't have these episodes that kind of seems a little bit mid, but, you know, does the groundwork, then the payoff also won't be that good because you're just kind of jumping in there without any sort of buildup. But at the same time, buildup doesn't mean boring. I think that buildup can actually be fun and engaging if you do it correctly. But if you're going to treat a buildup episode like a filler where there's like little to no, you know, engaging conversations going, I don't know. And like, let's get serious. Buildup episodes, they're pretty mid. And like, this is such like gatekeeping elitist behavior. Like, are you going to say that you actually enjoy buildup episodes? I can live with it, but I'm not going to say it's my fucking favorite episode. So if I say that, you know what, today's episode, mid buildup. And the people get fucking upset at it. What are you getting upset at? Do you think that this shit was the peak thing that you've ever seen? I think you're fucking lying to yourself. To get when you see what the buildup leads to, like Gohan turning SSJ2 was one of the peak moments in anime history. Which yeah, and I would argue the buildup that took to got there was fucking hype the entire time. I'd say that it was fucking engaging and it didn't feel like filler. Had a crazy buildup, which everyone watching it just got mind blown. It's not That's a terrible fucking example. That's an actual terrible example because I guarantee you, if you take that fucking buildup example. It's probably fucking great. It's probably actually engaging and fun content to watch. Compared to today's episode, where it was just kind of boring exposition and just like dot yapping. I don't know. I feel like this dude is literally proving my point. Like, yeah, build up. Gohan, Super Saiyan 2. Shit was fucking sick. But the steps to get there was also sick. It's not about ADHD. I even just said it. Like, I don't care if it's just two characters talking. At least make that conversation interesting. I feel like what we saw in this episode was more of the same. It's something we've seen before extended into 25 minutes when it could have just been like two or three minutes long. This He's right. He's right, man. And this is a funny comment right here. <laughs> FZ and edits right below. DS bros hyping training arc is one of the funniest thing. This is right. Because like, listen, I understand that Demon Slayer is your, like your favorite series, but like sometimes you just need to be a little bit honest with yourself. And if you're going to glaze the training arc as like the best fucking, you know, piece of art that you've ever seen, I feel like you need to take a step back and really ask yourself, like, do you really think that the anime right now in Demon Slayer, you know, training arc is that actually like peak compared to like Entertainment District? I don't think so. And it doesn't need to be that good, right? This season exists as like a gap before we get into the main meat of the show. We are building up doing training, and sometimes the episodes are gonna be mid, unfortunately, but that's just the fucking reality. And calling it mid doesn't mean that we hate on it, it's just, you know, it's just unfortunate. That's just what it is. For extended into 25 minutes when it could have just been like two or three minutes long. This just further proves that shows like this are wasted on ADHD kids. Just, just so terrible, man. Like, why, why, why do you think, like, I don't know. It's like you either, so like what? If we say that the training arc is fucking filler, that suddenly we are ADHD kids that can't, you know, appreciate good art. I don't think so. I think Mr. Matt Brock 7031 here is literally someone that is glazing and protecting their favorite series without being able to realize that maybe it's not that good 
So he's just eating shit up, just fucking boot licking, deep throating you, Photobull and Demon Slayer, because that's his favorite series. And there's nothing wrong with liking your favorite series, but sometimes maybe you should do a little reflection and ask yourself, is this actually that good? Or do I have my head up my ass so fucking much that I'm just licking the assholes of Demon Slayer, where an episode dedicated towards fucking NPCs running up and down the mountain is the most peak anime I've seen? I just feel like this is unreasonable. I don't know what this obsession is with people saying that it's an ADHD problem. Buzzwords. These are fucking 14-year-old kids that just found a new buzzword and they're just blaming it on, oh, ADHD kids, brain rod, random fucking word. When it comes to criticizing Demon Slayer, I feel like you're allowed to criticize something if you're not enjoying it. I do think the show is overly criticized. I do think some people just hate it to hate it because it's super popular. But I also believe that there's valid reasons to criticize the anime. Because it's so overhyped, because it's so regarded as one of the best and one of the most popular stories of all time where everybody watches it. I feel like that gives it more of a reason to criticize it. You know what I mean? Like, why okay. is it so loved? And I understand why it's so loved. I understand these characters are so lovable. To me, it was just un- <laughs> Are the characters lovable? <laughs> I feel like Demon Slayer kind of just popped off because of the fucking ufotable movie animation and the crazy amount of, like, like cinematic so let's get serious do you think that demon slayer actually has like the best story of all time i don't fucking think so i was the biggest demon slayer hater in the fucking beginning because i thought this shit was such an empty fucking just another copy paste fucking oh no one day the demons killed our little family now we gotta fight the demons and i was like all right i've already seen shit like this but later on the amount of fights the amount of love and attention that these fights against the upper moons got that's when i was like you know what let it fucking cook i'm just gonna turn my brain off and watch it like it's fucking dragon ball and ever since then, I've been enjoying Demon Slayer a lot. It's not the most complex or sophisticated story, but it's definitely enjoyable. The characters, I think at a certain point, you definitely do develop an attachment for like characters like, you know, Nezuko, for example, Inosuke. I don't know if you're like a Zenitsu fan, but the Hashiras too, yeah, yeah. Necessary episode, and I didn't like it, but I'm supposed to like it. I'm supposed to love it. I'm nah, nah, you're not supposed to. You're supposed to just voice your opinion. And the monkeys in the YouTube comment section are supposed to then throw their shit at you. Because no matter what you do, you're going to get hate from either side. And shining a magnifying glass onto that is probably a bad thing to do if you overdo it. Because that then makes you like a lull cow where these trolls are going to be like, Oh, this person reacted this way when I started hating on them. I'm going to do that even more now. But sometimes it is good to make a video like this, to make an example out of these idiots. I'm not supposed to be honest. I'm supposed to dick ride and swallow every single thing. No, I don't get that at all. I never understood that. I never understood that with video games. I never understood that with movies. It's a lot. I, I think it's a lot of the times and, and we see this right now. And it's a totally separate fucking comparison right now I'm making. But do you guys been playing Wuthering Waves and new MMO that people are saying is the Genshin killer? What I've seen a lot is a bunch of children that don't understand how, you know, um, the corporate society works and why a Wuthering Waves, a direct compare, like a competitor to Genshin is a good thing to Genshin players, right? But a lot of people, a lot of kids that don't have any idea of how real world works kind of like identify themselves with a specific series of shows, a specific game. And suddenly if someone were to criticize that show or game, then their entire idea, like their entire like sense of being is under attack. They never question themselves and ask, maybe this could be better. Maybe if Wuthering Wave shows up, then Genshin could be better. But instead, they'll fucking band together and start making hate brigades on any Wuthering Wave post. And at the end of the day, these are just mentally ill children that has no idea how the world works and act as if they, I they identify with a specific game or a specific brand. And if someone speaks ill of it, even if it's deserved, then suddenly it's an attack on themselves. So therefore, they need... They have the need to basically then to kind of like shit online about, about that. Uh, artists, like, you're supposed to love everything. And that's just not me. I'm going to criticize things. And I just don't get it when I'm... And like people don't un also understand that criticism isn't hate. Criticism comes from a place of passion. Remember Classroom of the Elite, how mad light novel readers were? It's not because they hate Classroom of the Elite, because they love it. But they're just sad what the anime turned into, right? Criticism comes from a place of love. They truly love the series, but they're just sad about what's going on. By voicing their opinion and criticizing, perhaps it could be better. But mentally ill children don't understand that. They just think that any sort of negative opinion towards something, even if it's warranted, is a bad thing. I'm criticized for loving everything when I'm 
vocal sometimes. I feel like I'm one of these reaction channels that has an opinion. You know what I mean? And and, and I don't want to like shoot any the reaction channels not usually have opinions. What you what you trying to say right now? Anyone else down? I don't want to shoot any of the channels down. But I come on, come on, say some names. Let's farm for more drama, Nick. Come on, name some names right now. I promise you, all these other channels are gonna like explode over this episode when that's not how they really feel. And if that's how they really feel, that's gonna be crazy. <laughs> it's gonna be hilarious if we see like a reaction. I don't know. Well, some. It you can't really like judge a person's reactions, right? It depends on like and everyone's reactions are different. But if there's somebody watching Demon Slayer the most recent episode and they see like the NPC kids running up the mountains and people are like, "Oh my god, this is crazy! Touch it was so fast, guys!" Oh, <laughs> if there's a reaction like that. Then you're like, holy shit, how much are you getting paid, bro? That's crazy. You must have a Demon Slayer sponsorship. That's how they really feel. But what I'm saying is <laughs> I feel like a lot of them are not going to voice how they truly feel because of this type of backlash. Because they're supposed to love everything. Nah, I'm going to fucking call it mid if I fucking want to, bro. You think I give a fuck? Fuck you, monkeys. Be mad, bro. Dislike the video. Episode 6 or 7 out of 10 at best. I know it can be better. But let's get real. Was it that fun? I don't really think so. Or the fandoms are going to come for their neck and slay them down like a demon themselves. No, I don't like that at all. I feel like if you love something, you should be a little critical. You should. You know what I mean? Like, like if you're with someone you love, you don't want to just gaslight them. You don't want to just love them like, like, and never say something they've done wrong. Here's a good example, right? Good friends will keep each other accountable. But if you actually never cared about somebody, then you wouldn't really say something to them to like make them better, right? If there was like an acquaintance you had and they were going down a bad path or doing something shitty and, you, and, and if you actually cared about them, you would actually be like, you know what? I think you should do something differently, my man. I think you could be doing better. But that, that's the thing, right? The example right here is basically, if you actually gave a fuck about a person, you wouldn't just sit there and just let them kind of, you know, go down the bad path. You would want to voice your opinion and help them be better. But again, people don't understand what criticism is. They think that it's just blatant hate. You want to point out sometimes when they did something wrong. And that's what I'm doing with Demon Slayer. I love Demon Slayer. I love the characters. I love the story. I love the moments. I love the animation. I love the uh, effort the studios put into the story and uh, into what they've created for us. But because I love it, that's why I tend to criticize it sometimes yep. because I want it to be better. I want it to fix these problems. Not that it could be fixed. It's adapting a material that's already finished. But you know what I mean? It's not supposed to be perfect. Nothing is perfect. I even criticize Attack on Titan sometimes, even though I think it's the perfect show. But like I said, man, Attack on Titan, its best moments are moments that have no fighting involved. No boom, boom, pow, and pow. I feel like that's where we fail or where fandoms fail as a community or if, as a fandom itself, if you're a fan of something, you shouldn't love it like that to the point where you don't criticize it. Same thing with like K-pop. It becomes like K-pop fans where you're not allowed to say a single bad thing about these artists. You're supposed to love them unconditionally, no criticizing. They are fucking masterpieces, perfect people. And that is like toxic positivity. A group of stands that are so cult-like where they just refuse to see any bad doings of whatever brand or series they, you know, they follow. And if you speak out once, it's like, nah, you're fucking canceled. Like, this is true, man. No, they're not. They're just as human as you and I. They make their mistakes. They have their own demons inside of them. But y'all don't want to acknowledge that. We just want to have everything be sunshine and rainbows and unicorns. And everything is perfect and a masterpiece and a 10 out of 10. Nah, man, that's just not. I think um, a the reason why a lot of different like content creators also are not overly critical about shows. Because like, if you, there's nothing that, it, it's all about like crowd control, right? Because like, if you actually actively hate on something, if you like criticize something and you say this shit's fucking trash, if it never was, the amount of hate that you're going to get from the audience is going to be pretty bad. Let's compare that to a situation where you're overglazing a mid show. The amount of criticism is not going to be even comparable. So probably content creators out of fear of the outlash from their audience, they're willing to kind of just turn a blind eye and never criticize and only kind of say 
you know what, this is pretty good, or they'll never say, you know, I didn't like it. That, that kind of makes sense. How it works, and that's just not who I am. And I really admire and love those that stick up for me and say they admire that I'm honest about my feelings and my thoughts. These are just my opinion and my thoughts. If you love the episode, if you love something that I'm criticizing, I'm not here to tell you not to like something. That's not my objective. My objective is to be honest with you with how I feel about what, what I'm watching. I'm not going to give the... Like, wouldn't you want someone that's being brutally honest, giving their opinions, even if you don't agree with their opinions, at the very least, they're giving you a fucking honest take compared to like a corporate show that's like sponsored and they just can't say anything bad about this show and just constantly glazes it, man. Opinion or reaction that you want me to give. I'm going to give myself. And that's what I pride myself being with this channel. You know, when I did K-pop reactions and shit, I wasn't always able to be my true self. But when anime, I'm able to. I feel like there's more people that understand honesty. Like, this isn't a normal Twitter complaint. Demon Slayer bad. I'm actually explaining reasons why I didn't like an episode. And I still get shit for that. I just don't understand. And, like, nothing's gonna change. Nothing's gonna change. And he knows it. But this video is not meant to sway the opinions of these fucking monkeys that's going to constantly come to his comment section and hate whether or not he glazes it or criticizes it. This video is to kind of make a point to the broader audience that, hey, I don't hate on Demon Slayer. I have these opinions. And if you think that these opinions are coming from a place of hatred, you're completely wrong. I don't get it. Wouldn't you rather someone be honest about something you love? Rather nah, they don't want honesty. People online don't want the truth. They want to be fed the nice, comforting white lies. Oh my god, Demon Slayer was so fucking peak, bro. Did you see the three wives, man? Their recap, retelling of the entertainment district arc. It was almost like I was reliving it. Oh my god, it was so funny when Uzui Tanyan made those kids run up the mountains back and forth. <laughs> this is truly our Demon Slayer, guys. Rather than gaslight and say, oh, I love the episode, yeah! Like, would you... And that's the sad thing. Most more people would probably enjoy that because a lot of people are coddled up into these. Well, not a lot of people, but these like super fans are coddled up into these little bubbles where their entire being existence identifies with that brand because they got nothing better going on for themselves. Sometimes they're like profile pictures off of K-pop idols or different fucking, you know, franchises because in it, because they're fucking just ugly, not outside, but inside as well. And they can only last themselves to something popular. And if you make one single criticism on that thing, suddenly you are attacking that person. That's why they react with such a vitriol, man. You prefer that? That's fake. And y'all always want to call me a fake reaction channel. Meanwhile, I'm one of the ones that are being the most real, I believe. Anyways, that's all I'm going to say before I just go somewhere I don't want to go. But maybe I'll say that for a future time. What do you, what do you, what do you, what do you, what, 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 what did you say there? Say before I just go somewhere I don't want to go. But maybe Where are you going, my man? Maybe I'll say that for a future time. Uh, I, I feel like Nicholas Slight might make a video about potential suicide thoughts because of all the hatred, but hopefully he's just farming for content. But hey, that's it, man. I'm just getting hate for, you know, saying his opinion. And unfortunately, that is the unfortunate reality of content creation you put your opinion out there and people are gonna clap back sometimes they're actually smart about it most of the times people are fucking dumb and if you voice your opinion about a popular show the criticisms are coming from a place of love a place from passion but idiots cannot identify what that is because they identify themselves as the brand the popular ip because they got nothing better to do with their lives and if you attack their brand you're attacking them and therefore, all the shitty hate comments. But hey, guys, go give Mr. Nicholas Light a like on the video. He doesn't need it, but you know, he's almost at one mil subs too. That's it for me.